What's going on, future Spanish speaker? It's David with EquipYou.Fun, and I wanted to just hop on here really quickly before you jump into your lesson video and say thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. If you're interested in more free content like this, I need you to do two things for me. Number one, hit the like button below this video. It helps us with the algorithm. And then number two, hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with free, awesome content like this that we're posting all the time. If you want to go a little bit deeper in your Spanish learning journey, then I want to encourage you to visit EquipYou.Fun or click the link in the description below and you can have access to the entire course with some awesome extras. All right, go ahead and enjoy this video. Now let's learn to say some actual dates. Dates we'd see on the calendar. June 7th, May 10th, December 25th. Now, in Spanish, we wouldn't actually say it that way. It would be 25 of December, 7 of June, 10 of May. We won't say 10th, 25th, that's just not the way it's done. And the name of the month won't come before the number. It will always be the number of and then the name of the month. Let's start with May 10th and get the ball rolling. 10 of May would be how we would have to say it. You know how to say 10. Yes. The word for of, de. And then may in Spanish, mayo. Let's put this all together. Diez de mayo. Very good. Diez de mayo. Let's try a few others. How about June 30th? It would simply be 30 of June. Starting with 30, 30 of de June, junio. 30 de junio. Excelente. How about December 15th? We'd have to say 15 of December. Starting with 15, 15 of de December. Diciembre. 15 de Diciembre. Muy bien! Now, let's do something a little different. A lot of times we would say the 10th of May, for example, and not actually say May 10th. This is the most similar to saying it the Spanish way, which is the 10 of May. Now, we have talked about how día is masculine, el día. However, dates, fechas, are feminine, las fechas. But when talking about these specific days, since they are days of the month, still días, they're going to remain masculine, which means the numbers will be masculine. For example, the 10th of May, that 10 will be masculine and will be el 10, the 10 of May, el 10 de mayo. Let's do another example. How about the 14th of January. It would be the 14 of January. The would be masculine. El. And then 14. El 14. El 14 de enero. Great job! Now you can identify dates on the calendar.